Welcome. OK, so as I kind of talked about before, when we have a ratio equal to another ratio, we have what we call a proportion. And when we have a proportion, and only when we have a proportion, can we apply the cross multiplication technique. So what we're going to do is you notice you know, I could find the LCD and then multiply every term by the LCD. But cross multiplication is pretty simple to go through. And it's also pretty easy to remember. But it only works when we have a proportion. So therefore, I'm just going to circle my cross products. All right, and what that's going to tell me is now I'm going to multiply across, but my equal sign still stays where it's at. But then I can just do here, so I'll have 8 times x minus 1 is equal to 2 times 3x minus 2. All right, notice how I didn't lose my equal sign. All I did is I multiplied a diagonally across my equation. Now I still need to apply my mathematical processes, so I need to apply the distributive property here. So therefore, I have 8x minus 8 is going to equal 6x minus 4. Now I have a variable on both sides, so I need to combine them to the same side. So I'll subtract a 6x. That goes to adds to 0. Therefore, I'm left with 2x minus 8 equals negative 4. Now I'm at a two-step equation, so I'll add 8, add 8. 2x equals a positive 4, divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals positive 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a rational equation using cross-multiplication. Thanks.